Okay, here's the uh, 49G, I mean B. I uh, got it kind of tucked back in its hard hiding spot here. It's about as far as I can get it because of uh, the muffler running into that tree branch up there. I could push it back further if I wanted. It's um, uh, The 52 is tucked back here in this corner of my side yard where hopefully all the Karens in the neighborhood can't see it. And I was going to push that 49 back in here a little bit, but I think it's good enough for now. Anyway, uh, looks identical on the uh, front um, end. It's straighter. I didn't really, I don't know, I guess I was blinded by love, but I didn't really notice quite how, how uh, uh, damaged the uh, sheet metal was on the 52 until I really started looking at it. Um, this had one tire that was rolled off of the rim, and uh, after I got the 52 back here, I took the tire off of it and put it on this, make it a little bit more movable. Got the same, look, I'm still not sure what that plate is for. I uh, guess I'll have to start asking questions. Um, this has the Rolomatic. It is not a split pedestal. This is not one that you can easily swap the front end on, I guess. I didn't really know what a split pedestal was until somebody pointed it out on the Facebook um, B group after I put the pictures up. So anyway, sheet metal on this looks really good too. There's a couple little dings and dangs, but uh, uh, generally it looks pretty good and that grill looks really good. I don't know if that's original. It looks like the 52 grill. Anyway, it looks pretty good. This one has been through, I was told... That this one has been through some kind of a restoration based on how it looks i would say maybe 15 years ago uh, nothing recent though um, those clutch head screws or little bolts for the sheet metal are all missing on this so it doesn't have that it's been converted to an alternator carrie you said that was looked like a chrysler alternator um what am I missing? Is there a regulator, an external regulator that's going to go with this thing too? Um, that wire's dangling. It doesn't go anywhere. This wire's kind of goes up there somewhere. Looks like it goes up here to to inside the governor area. No, it, it runs back. Here we go. It runs back uh, around through there, under there, out there, and up the steering light throttle pedestal. So, I'll figure that out later. Okay, um, exhaust. This one did have a can over it, so hopefully it doesn't have nearly as much, or it won't have, there's a less of a chance it'll have uh, corrosion damage down in there air intake uh guys on the facebook forum said a uh, uncut hood was highly desirable i guess this one's been cut i remember doing that on the g or that the g was like that too i don't remember exactly why maybe because you can't get the uh the top piece of sheet metal off or something anyway air intake steering wheel is the shaft is straight on this on that 52 it was bent this one it's straight Steering wheel itself is just like the 52. Uh, definitely shows it's 70-ish, 75-ish years. Uh, Wilco Magneto set up, but I guess the Magneto is not really being used anymore. Just the points condenser out of it, and there's a externally mounted capacitor and ignition coil. Uh, the ignition coil runs to the hand clutch lever so that it knocks the shit out of you when you when you touch it. <laughs> um, down inside of there, intake exhaust manifold, exhaust. Don't see holes in the bottom of this one like like the fifty two had. This does not have a water pump. 
this has this uh, this piece here. Um, it takes the uh, cooling from the lower radiator into the engine block. It's cast iron on this one. It's not a piece of PVC pipe like that uh, 52 is. Um, like I said, not a water pump down there. One thing I'm happy about on both of these, my G had all sorts of after after uh, manufacturing acetylene cuts and things like that in there. I guess they were working on imp uh, fitting some kind of an implement to it, and they just whacked it up with a acetylene torch. This one does not, neither does the 52. Uh, this is all free. Seems to be free, the power pulley. Uh, yeah, power pulley kind of turns. Um, I don't know if the engine is free or not. I haven't, uh, I haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, clutch handle is free. That goes back and forth like it should. Brakes are free on this one. Axle. I'm not sure about that hole, but yeah, that's got a broken off bolt, bolt in it, but uh, didn't have the broken off bolts in it that the other one that the 52 has. Tires are pretty crappy on this one, too. Either or both will need new tires. Rim's a little rusty on this, but it's not bad. The floor pan is in pretty good shape. The two screws that hold it on look like they could be removed if one wanted to. Battery box looks good. I've got the seat. I've got the seat for it, too. It slides back and forth. It's not rusted up. It's sitting over there in the back of my truck. Um, tires, they hold air, and they'll be good enough to drive it around a little bit if I get it running. Uh, the wheels on this one are set much more narrow. Looks like they're almost as far in as you can get them. Maybe they are. But the, uh, yeah, the, the accessory bolts on the axle, at least on this side, look really good. This back here looks like it might have been functional, the, the hydraulics, the power troll. Um, everything's greasy, oily, so at some point after restoration, I guess they had all this stuff running. Maybe they were using this thing. Um, the power troll or lift arm is free and feels right. Uh, same thing over here, wheel is set in really narrow. Uh, bolts all look good, nothing busted off. My G has a lot of busted off stuff in it. I even went so far as to buy a new uh, rear axle casing for it. Um, tire is in bad, bad shape. Like I said, the tires on both of these are going to have to be replaced. But that's later if I get that far with it. They had Christmas tree lights glued all over this thing. I spent two hours just removing gobs and gobs of Christmas tree lights, and they used hot glue to glue them down on the tires. So, I have not had the clutch, I mean the flywheel case off of here, so I don't know if it, uh, I don't know if it turns, and if the, uh, I have not tested the engine yet to be, I have not tested it to see if it's loose. I think it is. The way everything wiggles when I move this thing around, I got a feeling the engine's loose. It's not seized up in this one. Well, there's one busted off bolt right there. Um, maybe two. But uh, that's the only one I've found so far besides those middle ones. Brakes, like I said, are they're free on this. Um, transmission shifts between all the gears. Uh, 
that's kind of froze up and that's froze that's froze up the throttle and the radiator shutters are froze up um i guess that's lights this would be choke yeah choke it's tight uh, there's a lot more room in here than the G. The G, everything is much bigger and all really packed in there tight. This one's got a lot more room for working. Carburetor doesn't look as bad as the uh, one on the 52. This one looks like it could be removed and cleaned up a little bit, some new, new gaskets, whatever. This has the sediment bowl still. The 52 does not. Uh, oh, that's a big deal. You can buy those. I'm sure. Uh, oil cleaner looks good. Sheet metal on this side looks pretty good too. Happy with that. Um, yeah, it looks really good and straight on this. Uh, that's about it. Got the standard Rollomatic front end. One of these wheels, like I said, one of these wheels is off of the. One of these wheels is off of the uh, 52. Swapped it over when I uh, was rolling it back in here. So that's that's about it. Um, it does not have the light bars. They stuck a piece of PVC pipe in there and mounted the lights to it. I'm sure those are not the I'm sure that's not the original lights. Some aftermarket thing, I'm sure. But uh. Gauges, um, John Deere, amp is, ammeter is uh, aftermarket, I believe, and that one looks like it's missing. What else is interesting on here? That's about it. I'll terminate this.